You guys, what the heck is going on? He's still asleep. And it is 10.21. I don't understand. He went to bed last night so early. This dude sleeps so much. love fresh cold water I'm in my boyfriend's sweatshirt what's new I live in his hoodies okay I'm back and I'm gonna do my makeup again I I feel like vlogging again because I have nothing else to do and I'm still stuck in the house um yeah so I'm going to do my makeup again and chat with you guys. Oh shoot, I forgot to moisturize. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Oops. Oh, it smells so good. I love that watermelon moisturizer. Still love this thing so much. It smells so good. Let's get started. I'm doing foundation that I know isn't gonna make me look crazy. Because you guys saw in the last one. <laughs> I'm just so glad that I actually took it off and restarted. Because could you imagine if I went the whole day without orange foundation? Just no ma'am. No ma'am. Um, I'm using the Born This Way and the Super Stay Mix. I love the combination of these two foundations together. I'm going to be a lot more positive in today's video. I guess I was just having a bad like self-image and... Just a bad self-image day uh, when I vlogged a couple days ago. Uh, yesterday I just took the day off and just, you know, thought about it and let myself cry. And, you know, I just felt the feelings and I'm okay. Like, I am going to be so much more positive now. I got a lot of good feedback about it, which is amazing. Like, it's good to know you're not alone. Um... And yeah, I'm not gonna talk about it too much in this video because I want this video to be happy and positive and like show that even we all have bad days that we can come back from it and be confident a couple days later, you know? I'm not gonna sit here and relish in things that I wanna change about myself. I like read a lot of inspirational quotes yesterday. Um, actually, let me find one to share with you guys. I have like this board on Pinterest that I'm going to look at. I think it's a good idea. I think all of you, if you guys, you guys are going through something similar like a negative headspace and not feeling good about yourself, you should make a little board on Pinterest. Just make it private and have like good quotes. Look how like cute this board is too. Maybe I should make this public. Let me know if you guys want to make the, me to make this like public because there's just so many like good quotes. Is that backwards or am I crazy? And I just love them. We will start with this quote. Your mind is a powerful thing. When you fill it with positive thoughts, your life will start to change. I love that. And this one I need to, this is a morning affirmation that I wanna tell myself every day. Let's see if it will focus. Everything in my life is working out for my highest good. I love that. I love that quote and I think it's a really important thing to remind yourself. Okay. Moving along, I'm like actually sweating, so don't mind me. <laughs> Literally still in my pajamas. Now I'm using the Born This Way concealer in the color Nude. I'm pretty much gonna do the exact same look I did in the last vlog. It's my everyday makeup. I just wanted to 
be more positive, like have a more positive get ready with me in this vlog. So, and a lot of people did ask too, like my favorite podcast, what I've been listening to. And I've been loving the YouTube Power Hour. Emily showed me that one. I love that one. It's like tips for YouTube and how to be successful with it and things like that. And it's motivating and it like keeps you in a positive headspace like about like anyone can make it, you know, when you just have to, you have to work hard and it will come. And then another one I love is the, oh, dang it, why do I always forget this one? The Badass Manifester podcast. Let me look this up real quick. So it's called, the, yeah, the Badass Manifestor Podcast. I love the YouTube Power Hour, the Skinny Confidential, him and her, um, and then the Tony Robbins Podcast. I don't feel like I've been listening to that one lately. And then I'm gonna start reading books. I have a couple books that have been sitting around that I haven't read. I have the book Girl, Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis, I think is her name, and then um, I have like Adventures for Your Soul. I don't know. Who, I think that one might be by Shannon Kaiser. Um, I have those two that I want to start reading. And I'm also really wanting to make a vision board. I just want to be in like a really high vibration and I want to be super positive and attract good things into my life because if I stay negative and nasty, then all I'm going to do is bring more negative, nasty things into my life. And I do not want that. No, thank you. I want 2019 to be a great year. And yeah. So, I just set my concealer with the Laura Mercier powder. And I'm going to bronze up my skin. So Jake has work off again today because it's supposed to be snowing again. And I'm nervous, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to work tomorrow and I don't wanna go back out on the roads because we went yesterday. We got stuck on this hill and it was so scary. Like the back of the car was like going one way and then the front the other way and then we were just stuck and spinning and there was no way we were gonna get out of that hill. Um, and Tatum was in the car and Jake and I were out of the car like trying to like Jake was pushing the car and I was trying to get, I was pressing on the gas, which I hated. I hated that so much. I did not want to be in control, <laughs> but I was trying, we were trying to do that for a while. That didn't work. And then a super nice stranger with a huge truck came and pulled us out. Like he had a big chain and he came and pulled us out. The only thing that was scary was when he was like, he had to go down the hill first so he could pull us up. but. The, I, the hill was so icy that his truck, when he was coming down to help us, like our car was off a little bit to the side and his car was coming down and it started sliding towards our car and Tatum was in the car, but Jake and I weren't. So I was just watching as his big truck was like sliding closer to our car and he had no control over it, you know? And then it was on Tatum's side and I was just like, my heart was beating so fast. I was so scared. I was like, oh my God, I was praying, I was praying. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, like, please, please, please don't hit our car. And then thankfully, like last minute, he went around and it was all good. And then he came back up the hill a little bit later and pulled our ass out of there. So thank God for nice strangers. He did not have to do that at all. We were probably gonna have to leave our car there till the snow was done. And I don't know how we would have got home, but you know what? It all worked out and I refuse to go back out on the roads. It's scary out there. <sighs> and we risked it all for Mexican food. <laughs> Not worth it. Not worth it at all. But it has been so nice just like being inside and it's so cozy with the snow and the fireplace on and candles burning and yeah, it's just been nice. I feel like I needed this like relaxing time with my band and my baby. All right, you guys, I'm just going to finish up my makeup and then I'll see you guys in a little bit, okay? Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the before and then all clean. Looks so much better and 
I'm cleaning those makeup brushes today. I really need to order some more light bulbs. That's what I need to do. <laughs> So good. All right, babes, I'm gonna do a quick home workout because I know it makes me feel so much better after I work out and clearly I'm not going anywhere. It's snowing like crazy and there's, the roads are just terrible and I'm not risking it. So I'm gonna work out at home. Got my aminos and um, I absolutely love, like we've talked about in our last favorites, the Suzy band, the glute band. And I'm gonna be using that in today's home workout. I love using that. It gives you such a burn and my workout isn't going to be long because I am in so much pain like 10 minutes into my workout. So, and I know I'll be sore tomorrow. So I'm just probably going to fast forward through this workout. If you guys want me to do like a legit home workout video that I like show all the moves and all the reps and explain form and stuff, then let me know. But this one is just going to be a quick little run through. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my music and get going. Okay guys, I'm done with my at home workout. That was actually really hard. That band makes everything so 
painful and hard. Like, it's so good. I don't know what I would do without it, but I know I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. I will leave the workout moves in the description. Um, I didn't really have a rhyme or reason. I was kind of just getting in as many like reps as I could of everything and just trying to burn out my glutes and my legs and it felt really good. Um, I also did some abs and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that really fast sped up version of me working out. Now Tatum's asleep, he's napping, which is why I was able to work out. And now I have some me time and I'm just gonna relax. I'm gonna watch some YouTube. I'm gonna drink a protein shake. I think it sounds disgusting. Like nothing sounds worse right now than a protein shake, but I have to get protein in. Do I have protein bites left? Oh, I have to check, but gonna watch. I just saw Hillary Alex uploaded a vlog. So I'm gonna watch her vlog, love her channel. What was so funny was her little rant about how <laughs> how annoying Alex Garza was. I was like, my, I was literally shocked that she was saying that. I was like, oh my God, you're saying what like everyone's been thinking lately. Like, I don't wanna talk shit, but I agree with her. Like, it's just been, yeah, it's funny. It was so funny to me. I love her. If you guys don't watch her, I will link her YouTube in the description. She's amazing and yeah, so I don't really know what else I'm gonna do today. It's snowing so hard. I'll show you guys, even though some of you might not care or a lot of you won't, but I'm gonna show you anyways. Do you guys see how like much it's piled up? Like literally, oh, let's see. It's crazy, you see how much it's snowing? Like, it's actually freaking insane. And I got scheduled to work tomorrow. And I'm like, I'm terrified of driving in the snow. Like after yesterday when we got stuck on that hill, I'm terrified. And I'm probably gonna text my manager and be like, listen, like I can't come in. That's too scary. Like, <sighs> I know a lot of you have been commenting that like you live where it snows all the time and it's not a big deal, but I don't know, maybe our roads just aren't equipped for snow and ice like I don't know if any roads are but we don't have a ton of like plows out here and like we're not ready for this kind of weather like this is like insane so yeah I'm sorry I've been talking about weather so much on my vlogs <laughs> I think Jake's gonna grab Starbucks on the way home he went to the gym again if I didn't already say that because he's a psycho he went sledding last night at like nine o'clock at night he didn't get home till like midnight and I was so worried Gosh, boys, they just don't like, they don't have any care in the world. They think they're invincible. They think like they can freaking walk through fire and they'll be fine. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. It's been so bad though. I swear I've been like gaining weight because all we've been doing is eating. We've been eating out and I've been eating so much candy. Like that's just been my go-to. I just, we, yesterday when we went out, we went out for Mexican food, which is why we got stuck. And then I was like, you know what? Since we almost died, um, I want candy. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna have candy ready like on hand and yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I've gained like 10 pounds since this little snow apocalypse and it sucks, but you know what? It's, it's okay. Weight can always be lost, people. If you've gained weight and you're feeling like crap about it, remember, weight can always be lost. You can always get rid of it. It is not permanent. Don't be hard on yourself. Don't worry. Pick yourself up where you are. It's fine. And honestly, like, it's everyone fluctuates. Like, I go up and down all the time. And even when I'm, like, at my skinniest, I still feel like I'm not fully happy. So I'm just going to eat the food and enjoy my life, you know? Okay. I'm going to stop talking now. You guys, I wanted to share this little meal that I have at least like twice a week. It is so good. It's the Lean Cuisine Vermont White Cheddar Mac and Cheese. It is so, so good. It has 14 grams of protein. It fills you up, like the macros are not bad. 260 calories, seven grams of fat, 36 grams of carbs, and 14 grams of protein. And it tastes so dang good. 
I if I work a long day like I bring these at work and keep them in the freezer and eat it at work and it's just perfect because it has like enough carbs to give you energy it doesn't make you feel like too full and groggy like this is just my go-to I love these and if you haven't tried them you are missing out and you should definitely go get some okay that really doesn't look good on camera but I swear this is bomb and it's just so nice because a lazy girl like me does not want to cook, so perfect. And I'm just going to continue to watch Hillary's vlog while I eat this. You saw that I just worked out, and what did I do? I ended up eating like 20 of these after my workout. Just good job. Good job, Abby. Told you I've been eating a lot of candy. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, guys. I'm all cozied up on the couch. Tatum's upstairs with Jake. I'm just going to read this book, Girl, Wash Your Face. I think I'm already... Yeah, I'm already on page 55, but um, I think I'm going to restart because I read it a long time ago. My friend Lauren lent me this book and I like read the first 55 pages and then haven't picked it up since. So I really want to start getting into self-help books and yeah, hopefully this inspires me and gets me back to my motivated self. So I'm just going to read. Okay literally still on the introduction and it feels like it's speaking right to me um pretty much what i was talking about in my last video so i thought i would go ahead and read it to you guys in case anyone else wants to hear this or needs to hear something like this so um have you ever believed that you aren't good enough that you're not thin enough that you're unlovable that you're a bad mom have you ever believed that you deserve to be treated badly that you'll never amount to anything all lies. All lies perpetuated by society, the media, our family of origin, or frankly, and this is my Pentecostal, oh god, I don't know how to say that, Pentecostal showing by the devil himself. These lies are dangerous and devastating to our sense of worth and our ability to function. The most sinister thing about them is that we rarely hear them at all. We rarely hear the lies we've created about ourselves because they've been playing so loudly in our ears for so long that they've become white noise. The hateful narrative bombards us every day, yet we don't even realize it's there. Recognizing the lies that we've come to accept about ourselves is the key to growing into a better version of ourselves. If we can identify the core of our struggles while simultaneously understanding that we are truly in control of conquering them, then we can utterly change our trajectory. I don't know what that word means either. But I just feel like that like totally spoke to me. Like that's exactly how I've been feeling. Literally all those things is what I was feeling. And it's just like cool that I see it on paper and then it just says it's all lies and it's just us telling ourselves these lies and we begin to believe them but we need to change our mindset and recognize that they are lies. Oh, I know this is gonna be good for me so I'm happy I'm reading this. If you guys haven't read this book, Definitely get it and read it. I think I want a glass of wine while I read, to be honest. So I'm gonna do it. Today is self-love. What a vibe, you guys. Look at this. Oh, with my wine and the snow. What do we got? 18 and a half inches. Wow. We are making dinner right now. Um, we don't have much options, but what are you making? Burger oh, dips? No. Food. Guys, my man is such a good cook. I'm in charge of toasting the buns. Perfect. I figure I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap up the vlog here. Hopefully it's not too long this time and hopefully it was more 
positive and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Let me turn this down real quick. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure post notification bell is turned on so you never miss when we post. And I'll see you guys in the next video. An ice cream truck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You'd be looking for that one if it was. What's Tatum's favorite kind of truck to find on any kind of Tatum day? An ice cream truck. <laughs>